Hello everyone! In this video tutorial, we will be changing the WordPress password by accessing the database using the cPanel. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Let's log in to our cPanel. Enter your username and password. Go to PHP My Admin. You will be redirected. If the website is on a shared host, there might be lots of database. In order to find the right database, we have to go to File Manager. Go to Public HTML and locate your files. So this is our files. Find wp-config.php file and edit or view. Then you can find the database information. This is the database name. So let's go back and find this database, which is this one. So as you can see, this is the database name you want to work with. Let's close this. Then go to wp underscore users. We can find the username here, which is this. Password is this. User nickname is here. And so is the email address. So click on edit to make some changes. So one option is if you do not want to play with the password whatsoever, then you can simply change the email address here. For example, let it be here let's learn something at gmail.com. If I press go, it will save it. Here the email address has been changed. So if I go to wp-admin and click on lost your password and write an email here, create new password. So confirmation link is sent to my email. Open your email account, I use Gmail and log in with the password. Then you will see this email from WordPress. Open, click on the link and reset the password, anything you want. Now you should be able to log in with the email or username and the password we reset. So we can log into the dashboard. Also note that if this email does not reach your inbox, then please do check this spam or junk folder. Sometimes it comes over there. Anyway, let's close this. So that's one method. Now let's change the password here. Click on edit. So let's replace the password. Anything you want. Then you need to choose MD5. This is very important. So after it's done, click on go. So this is the username or you can also use the email and the password we used earlier. Let's try login wp-admin. So I will use the email address to login and the new password. So we can log into the dashboard. Hence you can use any of the two methods whichever is convenient to you to change the password. If MD5 did not work well, try with the email. Thank you very much.